Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and what is the best programming language to learn in 2020? There's a lot of cookie cutter answers out there, but today I'm going to give you one language and why. Now, before I give you my answer, I'd kind of like you to tell me why you're here. So please leave a comment, let me know. I'm also gonna try and run a poll on this video. So there should be a card up here in the top corner, click on that. Just fill in one of the reasons why you actually came to watch this video. I'd really like to know. And now let's just jump straight into it. So I think one of the reasons why most of you might be here is because you're new to programming and you just don't wanna waste your time learning the wrong language first, right? I mean, who wants to waste all that time learning something that might not actually get you a job later? So the number one programming language that I think you should learn is JavaScript. And I know that there's probably a lot of people out there thinking, wait a minute, what? JavaScript? Why? So let me explain. In terms of learning a programming language, uh, JavaScript is one of the easiest languages to learn. Uh, there's very little, if no, barrier to entry because all you really need is a text editor and a browser and you're good to go. You can start writing some JavaScript code and you can probably have written more than just a Hello World app by the end of the day. Compare that to most other programming languages like Python and PHP, there's a little bit of environment set up and there's a lot of other stuff that stands in your way. So it's a little bit more difficult to start learning and it might be a little bit more intimidating if you have never coded anything before. The other thing that's really great about JavaScript is it is an incredibly popular language. Stack Overflow does a developer survey every single year. So if you take a look at the developer survey from last year, 2019, JavaScript is still right up there as the most popular language at the moment. And that's just because, partly because of the nature of JavaScript. Uh, if you wanna write anything web-based and you want your website to be interactive, then JavaScript is kind of your only option. But JavaScript isn't just popular because it's forced on us, it's actually popular because people seem to like it and people seem to like it so much that they decided to pull it out of the browser and make it that you can install it on your local computer with Node. So now you can actually use JavaScript on the server side in the browser and you can actually use it to create native apps or mobile apps. So uh, that leads me to my next point, which is that JavaScript opens you up to quite a wide variety of spaces to work in. So quite a wide um, range of possibilities that you have as a programmer. As your first language, there's really no other programming language out there that's going to give you such a wide range of possibilities to gain experience in as JavaScript is going to give you. Because you can do backend, you can do uh, browser development, and you can do uh, mobile apps, which just isn't possible with Python or PHP or any other programming language. Now, the other thing about JavaScript is because traditionally it is a browser-based language and we all learn it just to make websites interactive, uh, you will eventually be forced into or sucked into learning another server-side language. So you probably won't always use Node. You might jump over to PHP for the server-side stuff. If it's web, uh, you might use Python and um, you might be pulled into something else entirely. Uh, especially if you're doing mobile apps, you might actually get pulled into Java or Swift. So learning JavaScript doesn't mean that JavaScript is going to be the only language you'll ever learn, but it is a very good first language to learn. And it, the reason why is it's going to suck you into learning another language at some point. And I think that that's actually a really good thing because when you do things that way, um, you're, you're gonna be able to make the connection between JavaScript and the next language you need to learn. And it's gonna be a fairly natural progression. So if you're gonna be a web developer, and you want to do some more backend stuff, you're going to naturally progress into PHP or Python, um, but you will be able to draw the link without somebody actually having to explain that to you. Now, just because I said that JavaScript is going to eventually suck you into another language, that doesn't mean you should go out there and learn every single language under the sun. Uh, nobody's really going to care if you can write a Hello World app or something a little bit more advanced than a Hello World app in 10 different languages. What's really gonna matter where your true value as a programmer lies is going to be in your experience, your amount of experience in one or two different languages. So if you've been able to build an app and have it running in production and you've had experience in building things like user interfaces and working with REST APIs and uh, 
like as long as you've had the experience in you know building something that people are actually using and that is in your portfolio that is going to be a lot more beneficial to you in your resume than knowing a lot of languages so spreading yourself too broad is just going to look a little bit silly because um, well most senior developers are going to know that programming languages are all very similar and it's going to be easy for you to jump from one to the other they're also going to understand that in a lot of job interviews so if you go in as a php developer and you have a lot of experience in coding rest apis etc um, and then you want to make the change into python uh, as long as you've maybe done a little bit of python self-taught at home a company is probably going to be willing to take that risk based on your experience in solving similar problems in a different language. So, you know, don't think that a programming language hurts your employability. It might, but not as much as the lack of experience solving a real world problem would. So I guess the last thing I should really say about JavaScript is that it has been around for a really long time and it's going to be around for a very long time in the future. It's a very safe bet and a lot of frameworks that are starting to be built on it like React and Vue and Angular have also been around for a little while now. So again, very safe bets. Companies are going to be willing to build um, or bet their financial future on a language that's been around for a long time or frameworks that have been around for a long time because there is security there. They know that if you as a programmer leave, they can replace you with somebody else. There isn't going to be a skill shortage. Um, whereas if you were to jump on the hype train with a new programming language or a new framework, uh, companies are gonna be a lot less willing to adopt new frameworks and new programming languages just because that um, certainty or the survivability of that language or framework hasn't yet been proven. Uh, so yeah, uh, my advice to you, especially if you're a beginner, is don't go around jumping on the hype train of things like Rust or uh, anything else that might be relatively new, just because um, like that's not going to set you apart from uh, the current developer market. You want to have experience in something that's been around for a while sure if you want to if you're interested look at a new framework or look at a new language but you know don't waste too much time on that because the amount of jobs available or the amount of companies that are really going to be willing to take a risk on something new is going to be few and far in between to end of the video let's just do a quick summary uh, learn javascript because it's uh, easy to learn it's also uh, one of the most popular languages at the moment and um, it's going to give you quite a wide wide range of uh, places that you can actually apply this in the real world and it's going to naturally progress you into learning another language uh, and that is all i have for you guys in this video if you like this video please leave a comment let me know click the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one